Hi, my name is Kathy McNair, an elder law and estate planning attorney in Boston, Massachusetts. And today I'd like to talk to you about life estate deeds. So what is a life estate deed? A life estate deed allows you to transfer your home to your children, but retain an interest that as long as you're alive, it's your home. It can't be sold without your position permission, you can't be kicked out of your home, and that as long as you're alive, you're going to pay the expenses and the maintenance on your home. But as soon as you die, that interest in the home will pass immediately to your children without going through probate. So the reason why we often use the life estate deed in our office is because our clients are worried about protecting the equity in their home in the event that they need nursing home care. As long as it's set up five years before you need to apply for mass health benefits. If you don't have five years, it's too late to do it now. So um, hopefully you're watching this as something where you're looking to plan in advance and you have plenty of time. It's important to know with the life estate that if you choose to sell your house, that there may be tax consequences for setting it up. So if you ever decided to sell your house, it's something that we would have to review and decide whether we need to change the deed right before you do sell the house. So I often ask clients, how long do you plan on staying in your house? Do you, if they're planning on moving next year, I, I wouldn't set up a life estate deed. But if they think that they're gonna be there for the long haul, then I think that it's a great tool to protect the equity in your home in the event you need nursing home care and also to avoid probate. The other thing that's important to consider is that once you set it up, the only way you can change it is if everyone named on the property signs to change it. So if you choose your um, child and then you later have a falling out with them and they're not talking to you anymore and you want to take their name off, they would have to sign to take their name off. So I think it's just important that you understand that from the very beginning, that it's not something that can be changed without the permission, without everyone signing that is on that deed. And if you wanna sell your house, the same thing, everyone would need to sign that is on the deed. So I'd be happy to talk to you about life estate deeds uh, we have more information on our website, a blog post about this, and be happy to meet with you in our office to see if this is a good tool for you to use to protect equity in your house. Thank you so much for watching.